All right, shrewd news and reviews. We back, man. It's your boy Rob. <laughs> yeah, it's Ja here, man. We here to talk about Charleston White and the, the media storm. Uh, yeah, the twin. He's a re- the media <laughs> storm he's uh created in the last couple of days has been something else. But I'm still confused as to what's going on. Now I've been watching all the clips and everything because at one point he says that Jay Prince is running everything and shut the event down. And then he says Jay Prince didn't shut his event down. So I guess we'll be taking a critical look at Charleston White's uh, Charleston White's claims over the last few days. Without further ado, let's get into the first clip. Go be speaking at event. James Prince, Houston Police Department sound like a bunch of pussies to me. I see why rap a lot run that shit. No wonder they mob tied. No wonder everybody got to check in, y'all. Now, I'm checking in with the police department. Police department told me, hey, man, you got a problem with Mr. Jane Prince. Austin, we, we hear you got a problem with Jane Prince. Man, we scared of him. I swear to God, y'all, I just got the call from the Houston mayor's office and the gang unit police department in Houston, Texas. They are scared of fire to rap a lot. And this is what I'm telling the Houston police department. Y'all can suck my dick too. Fuck Houston. Nigga, fuck you. You know what's, mm. what I'm curious about? This guy, Jay Prince, offered to have a sit down with him. Charleston White said, if I come have a sit down with you, I'm bringing the FBI. He keeps saying he's tapped in with the FBI. So why are you worried about the police giving you protection? If you're a good point tapped in with the FBI. Another thing just about be rapping, man, sometimes I think. Yeah, I think it's a lot of talking. Another thing is. The police have always, uh, I've always thought of them of being re- reactionary rather than uh, preventative, if I'm using the right terminology. I mean, pre- police don't really prevent things from happening. <laughs> they go going to come after they've already happened and maybe try to figure it out. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? I, I just feel like maybe this is a lot simpler than he's making it seem. <laughs> I feel like if he told the police, well, you know, they're saying that Jay Prince and his guys are going to hurt me if I go over there. The police might have said, well, the best thing we can do is tell you not to go over there. <laughs> like, well, we, well, what are you supposed to do? Put a whole bunch of, what well, you think you as the president? We go come over there. And maybe this lady, Miss Pat, that he was throwing the event with, maybe she mm-hmm. just didn't have money for security. And the police was like, listen, man, we can't just come over there for free. Y'all got to. Get y'all to thing together. Maybe this lady, Miss Pat, just didn't want the trouble because of all of this stuff that he's been saying online. Could be. Yeah, he's saying a lot. I think he ain't keeping it consistent, man. He's just being... It, it's one minute they don't run nothing over here, and now they really run it. It's like... Yeah. I'm trying to I, figure out what it is. I'll let him keep barking on this, but I did want to bring up those points real quick. Houston, Texas. Now I'm spending my own goddamn money to come down there to talk to you poor-ass, dumb-ass motherfucking Houstonians, nigga. Fuck Houston. That goes with the mayor. Fuck the Houston mayor. Fuck Houston Police Department. Now I rock with the Sheriff's Department. I rock with Harris County Sheriff's Deputy, but fuck Harris PD. Cock-sucking pigs. Y'all some motherfucking cowards. Man, let me get my goddamn guns and go to the goddamn gun range. This is what I got for rap a lot rappers. I got a whole bunch of goddamn motherfucking guns for rap a lot. Now I see the police guy. Police scared of rap a lot. Police scared of rap a lot. Man, I got a whole bunch of goddamn guns. Yes. Now man. that's a he has that, he goes man, on like man. this. Uh by now a lot of people have seen the clip, but this is my whole thing. He's out here, I guess. He, what I liked about him at first was he was on the tirade against the gangsters. He was supposed to be against the guys beefing online and showing guns. And I kind of was for him bullying the bully, so to speak. Seemed like he was fighting with fire, but fighting fire with fire. But it seems like it might be a better idea to fight fire with water, right? I mean, he (laughs) seems like he's becoming the shit that he was trying to fight against and did you catch the part where he starts dissing the houstonians i thought this was an event for kids so now the kids are broke he dissing the people of houston now dissing everybody that's there yeah uh i guess he feel like they all mob ties man he be feeling like you know 
I don't know, man. This guy is all over the place. And I know that he makes some good <laughs> points every once in a while, but people got to realize this is a guy that makes anti-Semitic remarks. He was defending <laughs> Farrakhan, defending Nick Cannon. He bragged about raping uh, white women. He's talking about killing cops. I think he's, at this point, he might be saying more bad than good. And then there's going to be another video that we watch where the guys, he, he's in a Trump hat. I know that's your guy and everything like that, but we got to start <laughs> looking at a, a closer look at the type of stuff that he's preaching. Because if he's defending Kanye, talk about going to war with the Jews, and now he's wearing a Trump hat, I guess... He called Jay Prince the police, but he's trying to snitch on police. I mean, what is this, Bob? What do you make of this? Like, uh, I think it's great <laughs> entertainment. It's great entertainment, and we get into wrapped up with, you know, I think he's because he even talked about it. Uh content creator, he's making ten thousand dollars a week. He's gonna be a, a comedian now. It's like I'm taking this as this guy is trying to make the best content that people is going to watch and he know what it is man he like a he like a whack 100 you know what i mean <laughs> yeah he's something like that uh <laughs> now we know the other video he started saying you know he started off the video talking about you know cops are scared they must be pussy because jay prince you know shut down the event and the pop police say that they're not gonna protect me and things of that sort so let's watch how he starts this one off Oh, he got the Shit. Trump hat on. <laughs> yeah. Controversial. I'm telling y'all that. Them bitch ass niggas didn't cancel no show. I did not get canceled. Did I didn't even have a show. I didn't even have a show. Somebody tag ESG and all the, the, the rap a lot dick riders. Somebody mm. get them rap a lot dick riders in here. No, nah, that bitch ass nigga Jay Prince, nor his punk ass son, nor his fictitious mm. mob group stopped me from coming to Houston. No, they didn't. They didn't stop a motherfucking thing. I didn't even have a show. It was a youth mentoring day with OG1 and Miss Powell. Okay. The bitch-ass nigga Jay Prince and his fictitious mob ties. The puss-ass mob ties, nigga. We just right up the street from one another, nigga. I got the bitch-ass niggas in, in the prison system. They call him my brother. Say, man, well, nigga, fuck you niggas in prison. I wouldn't give a damn if Houston and Dallas and Fort Worth had a war in prison and all you bitch-ass niggas killed each other. I don't give a fuck about no inmate, nigga. Fuck you Houston niggas in prison. Call my brother for what? Fuck you bitch-ass Fort Worth niggas in prison. You bitch-ass Fort Worth niggas in prison can suck my dick, nigga. Now, he's saying that the reports that his brother was contacted in prison are incorrect but i could see how that was confusing he's talking about his brother getting called in prison he's saying that he's going through something with jay prince it's kind of hard to parse through all of that yeah but he got to tag some names into this controversy you know he got the trump hat on it's like Yo, this guy's a master marketer, man. I think you're giving him too much credit. I can't stand when you niggas do that, dog. You act like he's so smart. Like, this is so... You know what he does to people like you? He says a lot of goofy shit, right? And then right. when when somebody calls him out on it, people like you will be like, don't you see what he's doing? That's just the character. And then you give him no, credit. I ain't for saying that's just shit. the character. I'm saying well, you're he's, saying he's, he's so a lot smart, of, so he's get, like, I ain't saying he's, maybe I ain't he's, say he's so idiot. smart. <laughs> Yeah, but he, he he's gaining a lot of attention to what he's doing, and it's like like you saying it's it's building up his uh it's building up his persona. Yeah. He's, he he claims he's the biggest thing out of Texas right now. I mean, after him and Jay Prince is getting a lot of views too. Out of him and Jay Prince, Jay Prince doing the same thing too, but uh, I think they all on the same time, man. I mean, Jay Prince do it. This is what they doing, you know. They coming out, dissing people. You seen what Jay Prince did with Offset. So I can't say the guys is, I said they're good marketers. You know, they marketing they self and they, they getting attention, you know. I'm not saying they're the smartest guys. Like, they're doing something that's smart. No, I'm just, you a fan, I can't huh? believe everything. <laughs> I can't believe everything he's saying because of this. You get what I mean? Like, 
some of this stuff is just, you know, it's perpetuated. It's just, he's, he's just causing a big fuckus to everybody, but really it's like nothing to me. I mean, that's my personal opinion. Okay. What you think? Well, I think we should just listen on Bleach that done done nothing to a nigga. I think all you niggas got pussy, my nigga. All you rapper niggas that put a microphone to your mouth in the shape of a dick rap. I think you niggas got pussy, nigga. You niggas ain't never made a motherfucking song about raping white women, killing white men. I think you <laughs> bitch ass nigga got pussy. I'm the baddest talking, walking nigga on earth. I got one eye. I weigh 123, 25 pounds. I make you bitch ass niggas sit on your ass, nigga, with these words. Shut your bitch ass up, J Prince. I'm still talking shit, ho ass nigga. I made J Prince go snitch. I made J Prince go snitch on me. Bitch ass nigga, you talking on a murder investigation. James Prince, shut your bitch ass up and I'm talking to senior, nigga. I bet senior don't want to fight. I bet that bitch ass nigga don't Jay Prince don't want to fight. He better shut his bitch ass up. And his son better not say nothing. Michael Prince, Jay Prince Jr., you, you, talking you about bitch ass nigga man. better not say you nothing to me, ho ass nigga. You better keep jumping on bitches, nigga. You ho ass nigga better keep jumping on hoes, nigga. Cause I whoop one of you niggas. <laughs> ESG. Let me tell you something, homie. I didn't have no show. I was working with the same organization that works against you niggas. Jane Prince got a house full of them niggas, nigga, them sex offender pedophile niggas. He got a whole halfway house full of them niggas. So I was working with an organization that works against an organization that houses pedophiles, nigga. How you feel about that? He said he's working against, he said he's working with an organization that works against an organization that houses pedophile i don't believe everything he's saying like i don't take everything he's saying as truth I i'm saying he, what he said let's I, just deal I, with what he said what he said i don't believe it mm. i don't even think that it's would funny. be a good I think idea he's to be, shots <laughs> i mean miss pat if her i don't know that much about the lady miss pat but she he says that she has an organization that's called uh parents against pedophiles maybe that's what the pap is for i don't know could i be wrong damn they go um, they go together but yeah. but but just if let's let's just assume what he's saying might have some truth to it why would you want to be against an organization that's housing sex offenders if we live in a society right where we're trying to rehabilitate people and this would be a place where you would know that sexual offenders live there because they're going to find somewhere to live if they got to (laughs) put you know places in fictitious names or get a roommate type of situation why would you want to stop them from having a place to live if they're paying their debt to society right like come on man i mean yeah that's a touchy one man some people feel like (laughs) <laughs> you know yeah but I, I i get you i don't know why he going there but like you said he's speaking out of so much rage and so much you know i, I can't <laughs> mm, at one point charleston was even banging on jay prince he's mentioning uh og zim uh of, of the crips Talking about how Dallas and Fort Worth were cripping and blooding and all of this stuff. It was just, it got real convoluted. And it's like, why is you really doing all of this? Charleston? I don't know. People people keep saying stuff like he has a good message and all of this. And uh, I don't know. I'm getting tired of Charleston White. It's funny for a little <laughs> while, but it's like, man, at some point, man, you gotta realize he doesn't turn on the whack one hundred level, man. He doesn't turn in the whack, man. Mm. An interesting question, though, that he kept asking was, how did Jay Prince get a police report for an open murder investigation? He's tied in, just like he said. This man is tied in with the mayor. The po- we asked the guy. Oh, oh, now you believe said, that? 
Yeah, I believe that. Okay, so you were just saying we can't believe what he's saying, but you believe that. No, part. I'm talking about James Prince is tied in. I'm telling you that. I I, I feel that way. We had somebody mm -hmm. in our comments that, that was from Houston that no. said, if you read in the comments, they was like, yo, this man is tied in with the with the mayor, the Congress, and the police. You remember that comment? Yo, I think there might be some truth to that. Let me show you something. I don't well, know. I think he got but... access. I think that's why he be around there screaming mob ties. I think he really tied in. I don't think he, you know. I mean, mob ties doesn't sound like people tied in with the police, but. That's the Apparently. biggest mob. That's the biggest mob in the in the, in the world right now, man. What you mean? The police what are you talking about? Oh well, the police might be. I think the Re Republican Party probably the biggest mob in the world. <laughs> but I guess it's arguable. But let me let me just read this. Record seekers may be able to obtain copies of a police report or arrest record by con contacting the Houston Police Department. However. The state of Texas does not consider criminal offense reports as public records unless the criminal case becomes closed on conviction. So that means this police report wasn't public record. Charleston White does have a point. It was an open murder investigation. How'd you get your hands on that, sir? Well, maybe because the people that got caught was mob ties, so maybe in there they was able to access the uh the paperwork from what's going on, and maybe that's how he got it. Mm, that's a conclusion. Maybe they were able to get the police report because it was their stuff. Yeah. Maybe, possibly. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I, I think these guys should just meet up and have a debate, you know. Charleston don't seem like he 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 won't <laughs> problems. He don't seem like I'm pretty sure, you know what I mean? He don't seem just, like somebody that <laughs> wanna I, sit down and kumbaya, you well, know. Well, well, you know, Charleston White, I think he's letting us know the limitations of snitching. Can't just go around here talking tough to people and think that just saying you're gonna call the police. Is always going to get you out of a jam. I, I don't know. He's saying that he was going there on his own money, but he seemed very upset that that event got canceled. So, you know, either it's a big deal or it ain't a big deal, but seems like, you know, it touched him to his core. I'll say that. But, yeah, this should be like a scared straight type of situation for people. For real. <laughs> they should just realize that – uh this whole online talking gangster thing ain't all this cracked up to be. I'll say that. But I ain't picking no sides on it, man. Just want people to just realize, man, this Charleston White guy could be just as dangerous as the other guys he's talking about. With the, you know, the hateful rhetoric, the tough talk. If we trying to get, uh, you know, those kind of people off the streets, he don't seem so better. He talking about going to war with the police and all kind of shit. <laughs> you heard him bragging about raping white women. Like, I just want people to know when you championing Charleston White and you saying, yeah, I fuck with him. You, you sound a little bit crazy if you consider everything that he's talking about. Right, right. Yeah, mm, that's all I got to say about that guy. All right, man, listen, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know, my point was, I think a lot of this stuff he's saying is 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 is, is really just propaganda. You know, he ain't, everything ain't as real as we think it is. I think he just be rapping and then he try to market it, put it all together. But let me know what y'all think. Go ahead. <laughs> One more question for you. Do you think he's doing more good than bad? I don't know what no good that he doing really, but he say he do a lot, so I don't. Yeah, I, I'll say that if he's doing a lot of good, I don't see it. Even when like an actor has an interview or something like that, at the end of the interview they'll be like, "Yeah, the movie comes out in theaters at this date," and you know whatever. Like when I'm hearing him on interviews, all I hear is like all this hateful stuff. I don't never hear about the stuff he's doing. I hear about the speaking events, but. Which is good. I won't take that away from 
anybody that's trying to do something good, we should commend that. But other than doing some speaking events, I don't really know what he's doing. So I wish that he brings that to the forefront more than beefing with Jay Prince all the time. That might be helpful. That might actually make a difference. Yeah. But he do claim that, like you said, you say he the bully to the bully. So he do be going after yeah, mobbers, you, gang member type yeah, but of if, guys. If, if you bullying uh how you races supposed to bully stuff like that no, but then that's a that's a bully too you still you know punching down you you uh trying to bully marginalized people he's with the homophobic stuff he with the anti anti-semitic stuff he with the anti-white stuff it's a lot of hate i can't yeah. stand by that you know but that's all i got to say about that all right man y'all let us know what y'all think in the comments man you know am my way left am i uh or is cap uh, right on this, man. Uh, we'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Yeah.